Mike Myers asks, Bardwell, I'm not getting, thank you for a $5 super chat, Mike. I'm not getting much range with the QAVS2 output power on Radio Master at 1,000 milliwatts and on goggles 700 milliwatts. How can I prove my range? Um, Mike, the first question is, which of the two things is limiting your range, video or control link? Um, it, for control link, I ran into this today. There was somebody on Facebook who said, ah, I'm only getting like 600 meters out of my Express LRS. And the issue is that Radio Master does this. I don't know if Jumper does this, but Radio Master ships all their Express LRS radios set to 1,000 hertz, okay? And this pisses me off. In fact, I'm going to, uh, Blunty, we're going to make a live stream clip out of this. <laughs> okay, so if you press SIS, you go to Express LRS, packet rate, ta-da, oops, not there, packet rate, now, I know this is super obvious to most of you guys, but I want this to be in the live stream clip. Uh, Radio Master ships the radio set to F1000. This is the lowest range. This is the super low latency for racers only. And the range is super low. Now, it's still five or 600 meters, okay. And it could be even more than that if you've got one watt of output power. But if you've got a, a radio with only 250 milliwatts of output power, it'll be five or 600 meters. But here's the thing. Express LRS is, is for long range, right? Most people, especially complete noobs, when they buy a radio, they want it to have long range. They don't give a shit about four millisecond latency, okay? So they come, oh, I just got my new radio. Oh, Radio Master. Oh, my new radio. Yay, I'm going to go out and fly it. Hey. And they go out and they fly it, and they fly 500 meters away, and it falls out of the air. And they're like, this, this Express LRS thing is crap. This Radio Master radio is crap. Radio Master, why wouldn't you ship it with the packet rate set to the longest range? Why wouldn't you ship it set to 50 hertz? And here's the thing. Radio Master, are, they're not idiots. There has to be a reason why they do this. And I, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't make any damn sense to me. I just want to be clear that despite the fact that I'm ranting, like I think they're idiots. I don't think they're idiots. I think they're smart people who have made some decision. And I, I, just, I just can't see a reason to do this. So if you bought, if you bought a Radio Master radio, Go to the Express LRS Lewis script and change the packet rate. And you don't even have to change it all the way down to 50 hertz, although that will give you the longest range. You can change it. I run at 250 hertz, and in my experience, that gives a really good balance of range and latency. But, like, don't leave it at 1,000 hertz. Just a bonus reason not to do this. If you have an SPI whoop, you can't bind with it. That's right! That's the other problem! The F, the F packet rates, like F1000, can't bind to SPI receivers. And, and SPI receivers are on the way out, but they're still out there. And so you buy this radio, and you're like, it won't bind to my tiny whoop. Why would Radio Master do this? I don't know. I think it's a bad decision, and I think they shouldn't do it. And I think I mentioned this to them once. And then they replied, and they were like, yeah, here's why we do it. And I was like, well... I don't agree, but, you know, agree to disagree res with all due respect. And then I saw this post on Facebook this morning from a person who was like, I just bought this brand new radio and the range sucks. I thought Express LRS was supposed to have good range. What the hell? That's how I imagined their voice. <laughs> and it was like they were set to F1000. And it reminded me of this issue all over again. And now I've ranted about it. And we'll put it up on the Livestream Clips channel so hopefully the world can benefit from my anger.